Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Kristen, lifestyle vlogger, mom of two, housewife. And today I spent all of our money on groceries. It is that wonderful time of the year when we get our tax refunds and it also happened to correlate with payday. So we needed groceries anyways. And so I spent extra to stock us up on some things that uh, we either don't have often or we just needed to stock up on things that I don't buy often. Um, so I spent $564 painfully, uh, but you know, that way we have these items. A lot of them last us almost a year and that way we don't gotta scrounge around for the money to buy them later um, when we officially run out, so. I've got a lot of stuff to show you. Let's get started. Okay, I went to Walmart, Sam's Club, and I bought a few things at the Dollar General a few days ago, and I just never brought them inside. So they're in the hall, but they're not included in the pricing. Uh, so we got a jumbo thing of paper towels from Sam's Club. These are like $19 and change. They're really good, and this whole pack lasts us almost a year. Um, it, it was right about a year ago. I think it was like, it's, it's almost April now, and I think it was like last May that I bought some. So, uh, I, we've still got like a roll or two left. So, won't have to buy these again for almost a whole other year. We don't use paper towels a lot. A lot of times we will use um, kitchen towels to clean things up. So yeah, that'll last us a full year. Got the husband his jumbo case of Coke Zero. I don't like these. I don't know how he drinks it, but it is his like drink of choice. And then I got the kids, they're Kool-Aid jammers. We weren't fully out of them, but I thought they're nice to have on hand. And they're super easy to pack in Levi's lunches. Then I also got two cases of this uh, flavored water here from, my cat is here to help, uh, from Sam's Club. Thank you for going away. <laughs> um, yeah, big old thing of that. We've got two of those. My son uh, has to take snack in one day a month. So I thought while I was there, I, I don't know what day he'll have to take it for April, but I thought while we were there, we would just go ahead and pick up his snack items for the month. So I got two big cases of those flavored waters. It's something we all enjoy, but we don't keep on hand often because they're a little pricey. It's like $8 for a whole case and we go through them quickly. But I got two of those, one for us here at home and one for him to take to school uh, for his snack day. And then he decided to pick out, well, he decided to pick out this jumbo thing of goldfish crackers and there are 45 packs in here. There's only 24 kids in his class, so I will take out the difference and keep the rest at home. They only need 24. There's also a teacher selling us in 25. The rest can stay here because groceries are expensive. There we go. Um, Yeah, so we got that. I'm trying to find things that I can quickly put away <laughs> so that we can get into other stuff. Okay, this came from Walmart, but flour tortillas, the, my, the sons, the sons, <laughs> my boys, wanted um, tortillas, not tortillas, they wanted quesadillas for lunch, uh, late lunch, it's three o'clock and I'm just now feeding them, but we were out shopping almost all day long. But anyways, got into this, got them their um, cheese quesadillas. These came from Sam's Club, big old thing of grapes. Uh, I love Sam's Club's produce, I think it's typically the best available in my area but it is pricey but normally we spend like five to six dollars on grapes anyways and these are five and change so i don't know if we're getting as much as we would have got from walmart but i think it's pretty close to what we would have bought from walmart for about the same price so i went ahead and got at sam's uh i got butter from sam's this was around five dollars for a big tub of butter we've got i love these i don't buy them often um they're about two dollars and change but we got some chips um, got this one from Walmart. It's an everything bread. These are so easy to slice up and make little homemade pizzas and they freeze really well. So this will be going into the freezer and some night when we want to have homemade pizza, we'll break these out. And I always buy mine when they're on the clearance rack for, this one was 69 cents. These ones, y'all can figure out what these are for <laughs> if Easter is coming. So... I don't want to announce it. I don't want my kids to hear about it. But this is one of the things I picked up at the dollar. I think it was at the dollar family dollar. I think it was at family dollar a couple of days ago. So I'd like to get them two prize ones, if you know what I mean. It has like a toy or something inside. Um, and then I already got baskets a few weeks ago. So they will be good on their 
Easter egg and stuff. And then at Sam's Club, I bought some vitamins. These things last us almost a year, at least when it comes to these two, because let's be honest, I love the idea of taking vitamins. We are not always on top of it. <laughs> Sometimes we get in the swing of it where we take them every day and other times we may go a week and not think about it. So they'll last us a very long time because we're not consistent. But um, I've got some from last year that I'm almost done with. You can see them peeking out from behind my cup back there. Um, and then the kids, they needed more of theirs. Theirs right now. So we got those. And then we've started buying these Gali Ashwagandha gummies. These help with relaxing, restore, unwind. It's a stress reliever gummy. Now, please take what I say with a grain of salt. I'm not out here to promote medication to anybody. Uh, and again, this is all over the counter. Anybody can go pick these up. We have been using ashwagandha, my husband and I, for uh, anxiety and stress for years. Um, I have anxiety, but it's not something that I have all the time. It comes and goes. Uh, personally, I don't like the flavor of this. I use a different kind of ashwagandha. I think these are gross, but my husband and my son actually really like them, and they're mixed berry flavor. I think they are sour as all get out, but that's the kind of candy my husband and my son like to eat. Um, I get an ashwagandha gummy from your theory that you just swallow the whole thing like a pill. Ashwagandha does amazing for anxiety relief. Um, again, I don't have the kind of anxiety that's like all the time. I don't live with it all of the time but i have it flare up so i've never gotten medication for it that's not true my doctor prescribed me medication for it one time but then i had an anxiety attack about getting medication and i never picked up the prescription so yeah there's that um anyway ashwagandha really helps us my husband has started taking these on the daily and then my son i've mentioned in some other videos uh he's being screened currently for adhd we question if he might not be on the autism spectrum and um he has oftentimes he has meltdowns and mood swings it'll be like a zero to 60 over like the smallest thing and we have really found that with these gummies the ashwagandha which we've done ashwagandha for him when he was younger and it really helped when he was two he was having meltdowns all the time um we have found that these really help just kind of mellow him out it doesn't change his personality but if anything it just makes him a calmer child he's not so aggressive if, if that's I don't, even, I don't even know if i want to say aggressive he's not an aggressive child but he's quick quick tempered um and this just really helps cal calm him down and he just seems more peaceful i think maybe a better way of putting it is that the ashwagandha helps take the edge off for my son he still gets upset and he still has meltdowns but they're not as frequent and they're not as bad so hopefully that maybe helps clarify a little bit. I don't want people to think I'm drugging him and changing his personality. We're not. The ashwagandha just seems to really help calm him down. So take it for what you will. But if you have a kiddo or even yourself who struggles with some of those issues or just anxiety in general, because I take it for my anxiety, you might want to look into these. And again, there's different kinds. If you don't want to take a gummy, I take one called U Theory that you just swallow like a pill. And I think it does a fantastic job. They're not cheap. This is a $20 bottle here, but I feel like it's worth the investment. You can get smaller ones in other places. We get the jumbo one because my husband and my son both take them. Um, this one in particular doesn't have an age limit on it anywhere. So we've started giving them to our son. Uh, you get two gummies a day. We give him one in the morning, one in the evening, and he's on it, been on it for about a week. And we've noticed a pretty big difference here at home. My cat is currently ripping into the bag of cat food I just bought. What are you doing? Making messes. Somebody always needs something. Um, oh, and then, so we got more things up here. Doritos, the kids wanted those to go with their quesadillas. Bananas, these are also from Sam's Club. The Doritos were from Sam's Club too. Big old thing of strawberries, they were like $5 for this giant container. I didn't think that was too bad of a price. They won't last long. We will fly through those. Bananas and strawberries with chocolate syrup on top is a very favorite breakfast in our household. And then my husband, I got him a $25 PlayStation gift card because I love him. And sometimes I like to have little surprises for him when he comes home from work. So I don't get these all the time for him. But kind of like sometimes he brings me home flowers. Sometimes I bring him home PlayStation gift cards. Okay, let's go over a few more things I can get out of the way easily. These came from Walmart. I think I've showed you everything from Sam's Club. Special kitty cat food for the cats. Uh, wipes for the kids. 
um, chewy granola. These came from Sam's Club. I like to have something easy on stock for them to grab in the morning. We're not big breakfast eaters. Like nobody in our house is like super big breakfast eaters, especially in the early in the morning. I want my son to eat something before he goes to school. That way he's not completely ravenous by lunchtime. So something simple that I can just throw at him on the way out to the bus because he would rather sleep in longer than he would to get up early enough to eat something. If he wanted to get up and eat, I would make him food. Getting him to eat this is like pulling teeth in the morning. He don't want to eat nothing. And I don't blame him. I'm kind of the same way. My husband doesn't eat breakfast. I get it. But again, like I don't want him starving by lunch. So I make him eat something. So uh, we've been taking to buying things like this from Sam's Club. And this was kind of like a stock up thing because we didn't really need more breakfasty stuff on the go just yet. But again, we got our tax return. So I was buying a few extra things um, just to kind of stock up and have on hand. Uh, currently, he's been working. It's kind of like our junkie drawer right here. Um, he has had these like cinnamon toast crunch breakfast cereal bars. Uh, the Velveeta breakfast biscuits have been really popular. I like these ones because they're made with like whole grains, um, fiber. They're kind of a little more healthier than junkier stuff. Um, that's popcorn and raisins. <laughs> so, and I think we've got a couple of pop tarts left way in the very back. So we weren't like desperately needing anything just yet, but he was with me and he picked this out. If he hadn't been with me, I probably would have got more of the Velveeta breakfast biscuits, but that's what those are for. <laughs> we'll put our Oreos back in the drawer. And then the cat, um, they needed a new cat scratcher. It's been a while since I've gotten them one. Honestly, I'm not sure what they've been scratching on, to be completely honest. Little worried that it might be the back of the couch that's up against the wall. Uh, I've noticed recently that our littler cat, I don't think this big guy can get back there, but I've noticed recently our littler cat can fit back behind the couch. I didn't know he could. So I kind of think he might be scratching back there, though I haven't seen him do it. And I think he might be doing it. Um, so, <laughs> got this. Okay, also got dog food. And I got myself some Pib Extra. I love Mr. Pib. It's got to be one of my favorite sodas. And I haven't had soda in the house for myself in a long time. I really made it a point to if I want a soda, I have to go out in town to get one. So I'll go several days in between. So I was like, I'm going to treat myself. They got Pib. I'm going to get some Pib. And then as you can see, poking out from right there, we have some cheese balls. Okay, we are on to Walmart stuff. So pull-ups for the almost three-year-old. Um, yogurts for the kids. They've been loving these things. So they each get four. And it's like a nice little dessert or something for them. It's not super healthy, but they've really been enjoying them. Um, they each get four pizza Lunchables. We've got these ones for the almost three-year-old. It's got two pizzas. This one's for the almost six-year-old. It's got three pizzas, just what it takes to fill them up. And I, I grocery shop bi-weekly. I've had some people make comments about these not being healthy. I know that, but my kids have three meals a day. That's 21 meals in a week. That's 42 meals in two weeks. So in two weeks out of the 42 meals they get four pizza lunchables i don't think it's that bad that's two a week um cheese for the kids is what they like husband and i had plenty of our own cheese so i didn't buy any for us this time two loaves of bread uh they'll go into the freezer because we still have a fresh loaf we're working on i got these for the kids to munch on for the car at home and then they got boxed up in the back of the trunk and i forgot to get them out until we were halfway home and then my son is like where's my doritos and i'm like in the trunk so we've got these they're random uh some meatballs we were just out and i splurged for the family size the big one so the last a little bit uh, we got four things of canned mushrooms because we're about out and we love to cook with canned mushrooms some cheesy croutons and there's a better look at that giant thing of cheese puffs or cheese balls i should say we haven't had any since the last summer and levi seen them and was very excited so i was like you know what Get your cheese balls, kid. <laughs> Get your cheese balls. Let's hop on into a very random assortment of goodies here. So, uh, we got some toothbrushes for the kids. These were only a dollar. I didn't think that was a bad price, unless they were in the wrong spot. But that'll last them a while. Then I got four different kinds of cheeses. We like to use these for cooking or topping dishes. So I've got two here of the Fiesta Blend. They're four cups each. 
And then two of the four cuts for the Italian style. I'd have also been happy with mozzarella, but Italian is what they had. It's fine. I got myself a two pack of deodorant. Again, didn't quite need it just yet, but it's kind of nice to stock up on these things so I don't have to worry about it later. Same with my husband's deodorant. I got him two of his. Again, didn't quite need his yet either, but nice to stock up while we have the extra money. And then we got some odor eliminator for carpet and upholstery. Just spray and walk crap. I bought the wrong thing. I needed carpet and upholstery cleaner. And this was back in the pet section and I just seen the couch and the animals and I thought that's what I need. So that's what I bought. Great. Um, we recently ran out. My oldest boy had a flu bug and threw up all over the backseat of his dad's car. So we used up all of our upholstery cleaner to clean my husband's car. And then my youngest son spilt some sweet tea all over our um, upholstered footstool in the living room and I was not able to clean it properly. So, great. Don't really know what to do with this. I guess use it by the litter box. <laughs> that was the wrong thing. That's frustrating. Okay, moving on. Um, I bought myself another wax melt. They had a salted caramel butterscotch. Just smelled really good. Um, I got some vegetables. I got a frozen bag of broccoli over here. My oldest boy is having a sleepover tonight with one of his cousins. So I thought doing biscuits in the morning would be nice. Uh, we have four things of spaghetti sauce, garlic and herb. These are only $1. Normally at Walmart, I'll buy the Great Value brand, but they are more expensive. So I figured we would just go that route this time. Uh, fish food for the fish. Got some 3D white toothpaste for the husband and I. It's our preferred kind. Um, though I'm wondering if I'd gotten the kind that like, you know, rolls, like lays down, you roll it out. Maybe it would have been a little cheaper. I didn't realize it came in this kind of fancy packaging. Oh well, what's done is done. Um, cinnamon and applesauce. I got some more frozen veggies here. For this one, I was thinking a shepherd's pie might be nice one night. And then I was also thinking a chicken pot pie with that one. So I got the mixed vegetables there. This one's just peas and carrots. Uh, and then two bags of apples. I wish I would have bought three because these apples are quite large. I didn't realize how big they were. Um, me and the kids already got into this bag on the way home. We each had an apple. And so then we also have a second bag. But we eat a lot of apples. Uh, so we'll see how far we get for the next two weeks. We also have some canned fruit. So I guess I shouldn't worry too much about it. But, you know, between the bananas and strawberries and grapes, and then that's what the grapes won't last long. And neither will the strawberries. The bananas won't either. We eat a lot of fruit. <laughs> but apples is something we almost have on a daily basis. So <laughs> hopefully this lasts. I wasn't thinking about it. I was just ready to get out of the store. And I grabbed these up. But I love how big they are. I feel like normally when you get $3 bags of apples, the apples are kind of tiny. And these are real nice size. So kind of wish I had bought a couple bags. Um, and then Levi wanted to try an electric toothbrush. The last one he had, he didn't like it. And so I thought we'd give it a go. It's got one of his favorite characters on it. So we'll see, maybe he'll use it, maybe it won't. We'll give it a try. So something kind of fun I picked up today was three strawberry plants. I'd like to start a strawberry patch. So got three of those to start, but it's gonna get down really cold um, the next few days. So I thought we'd keep them here in the kitchen window. And then I also picked up box of kitty litter didn't quite need a new one yet but i figured get it while we're there so on to more these came from sam's club this one's leaking and i just happen to have a family dollar bag in my car so i wrapped this one in it but 13.79 they're on sale regular 18 dollars. this is some of the best prices i've seen for corned beef brisket in a while normally i get them at aldi they're like between $10 and $15 there, and they are not nearly as big as this. I wish I could have put more, bought more of these for the freezer, um, but I did buy two. So, and this one was originally $17.43. So, those will go in my freezer, and can't wait to eat these. They won't last long in our house. My husband and I love brisket. Uh, husband needed some more uh, dandruff shampoo. So, actually, he didn't quite need it yet, but I bought this to put back for him for later. Didn't need more dish soap yet, but bought it to put back for later. 
didn't need Febreze yet, but bought it to put back for later. <laughs> this is uh, the great value brand Febreze. I bought some with my last grocery haul. I haven't tried it yet because I still have some regular Febreze on hand, but I love having Febreze. I've got one for the bathroom, one upstairs, um, and then I've got one that I use through the rest of the house on occasion. I freaking love Febreze, so got some extra. Um, got some mouthwash for my oldest boy. I think he's old enough to start using it. So this one is watermelon flavor. Uh, it was similar to Equate, you know, similar to the name brand. So this one's watermelon flavor to go along with the watermelon kids toothpaste. They weren't out of toothpaste just yet, but I figured I'd buy some to put back. We just have it on hand. Then taco sauce. Normally we get the name brand Mace taco sauce, but I've seen that Great Value now has their own, so thought we'd give that one a try. Um, pickling salt. This was way cheaper than I thought it was going to be. I thought it'd be five dollars or more, and it was like two dollars and change, so not bad. But I'm gonna plant a garden this year. At least I want to. That's my goal, and I'd like to do cucumbers. Um, and so I've heard as I've been looking at canning videos that pickling salt sells out really quickly. I'm not really sure what the difference is between pickling salt and regular salt, but I went ahead and bought this to put back. And if I don't end up using it, my neighbors have a garden and they will, but I'm planning on doing a garden. So, well, we're gonna plan on using that. Um, razors, this is the kind that I use. I, they're disposable razors. This one you get 18 in a package. Uh, my husband uses these as well when he shaves his beard. Now, when he uses one, he has to throw them away because his hair is just too thick, coarse, and long. But when I use one, I can make it last a month. So a package of razors like this will last me almost a year or longer. And I've still got some put back from the last time that I bought these, but I'm getting low. So again, went ahead and picked these up to keep on hand. But you can use these way longer than one use. They do a really good job. Uh, just keep an eye on your blades. Make sure that they aren't rusting and that uh, they look smooth. There's no like divots or anything. As long as they look good, they probably work good. And you'll know when they stop working because um, you'll either start getting like <laughs> razor burn or like um, the, your shave won't be as smooth when you do it. You'll have a lot more like stubble, leftover hair. Like you'll know when it's time to change your razor. So take that for what you will. But I normally make one razor last a good month or so. Um, we got some more litter, little litter cakes for the litter box. It's like a urinal cake for your litter box. I think they do a really good job. Got the dog a treat, something for him to work on outside. I don't think it's gonna last him long. It was only a dollar, I didn't think it was bad. Uh, some toothbrushes for the husband and I. Put those back for when we need some new ones. Um, the kids got whales, cheddar cheese. The Walmart brand crackers, like Cheez-Its, sold out, gone, none left. You could get name brand where they had Wales, and Wales is cheaper than actual Cheez-It brand, so that's what we picked up. Uh, we got some water flavors. My husband and my son love these things. I can never get the ratio right. Either it's way too mild or it's way too strong, so I don't even mess with it. <laughs> but I got them wine made to try. That's one they've never had before. Lemonade, I know they like. And then this one is Mio Sweet Tea. They only use this when we're out of actual tweet, tweet, oh my God, when we're out of actual sweet tea. Um, so they kind of, we, the, they drink tea like crazy. So it's like a nice little backup. And then I got myself another wax melt from Mainstay. These again, like, like the one I showed you earlier, they're only like right about a dollar. This one smells really good. I had it recently and I loved it. So I got another one. Uh, my old, my oldest boy, he's almost six, has started taking to wearing one of these. Um, when he goes to school, I have him spray it over his shirt. I don't have him put it on his skin. He doesn't really need deodorant yet, but he sees daddy use it. So these are like a dollar, dollar and change. Um, and it's going to last him forever. We had a sample of the same thing that my husband got and never used. So my son's been using that one and I got him an extra one to put back for when he does use that one up. And then we've got some baking powder. I don't think I need any yet, but I, it's one of those things you never think about needing until you need it and you go to the cabinet and realize you're out of it. So I just got one to put back. And then the boys each got mystery Hot Wheels. Uh, we will find the other one here in a minute, I'm sure. Okay, next back to goodies. So we got some vanilla yogurt for myself. 
Uh, got some French onion dip because we got those plain potato chips. Also got a jumbo bag of carrots. So these are nice to dip into that. Plus we're gonna be doing those roasts up at some point. So I'll need carrots for that as well. I uh, got a big thing of chicken. Didn't need it yet, but nice to have on hand. Don't gotta worry about it later. Uh, more frozen broccoli. We're running low on our frozen vegetables. Uh, two things of frozen green beans. I got these for my husband. He likes to eat these when like, if he's working from home or like if I'm at work on the weekends, he can make these really easy for himself. Our kids won't eat them. They're just like pizza rolls. We got five things of frozen corn. We were completely out. Uh, Levi picked out this. It's strawberry yogurt, strawberry and banana yogurt. He was very excited for it. Um, mixed vegetables, another bag. And then we have a thing of sour cream back here. Okay, this is the last of the Walmart stuff. And then I'll show you the stuff from Dollar Dollar Tree, Dollar, no, Family Dollar. <laughs> okay, I got three things of baking soda. I need one for the cat box, one for cooking with, and I need to replace the open one that's in my refrigerator. If you did not know, you can leave an open box of baking soda in your refrigerator and it will absorb any odors in your fridge. I uh, found that second top wheel back here. Give those to the boys here in a minute. Got some extra ketchup um, just to put back. Honey mustard it has been hard to find this entire pandemic and they were about out. I think this might've been the last of what was on the shelf. So I took them both. Um, an extra bottle of ranch. I could not find great value blue cheese, but I've been enjoying blue cheese lately. So I got the craft one. It was, we were talking like pocket change difference. It's not, it is more expensive, but not drastically. I got some spices. Uh, I got a big thing of the Montreal steak seasoning. So I like both, I'm not too picky. A lot of times I'll get the Weber steak and chop and this is originally what I was looking for. Price, right, price wise, they were like a $2 difference. This was four and change. This was six and change. That wasn't too drastic price wise. But in this one you get 8.5 ounces and this one you get 11.62. So I went with the Montreal. I think this one has like, I don't wanna say a stronger flavor. They're both really good. But this one, like you can tell it's like bigger granules. So like you're gonna notice it more in your food. Whereas this one's a finer blend. So you get the flavor without like crunching on it, if that makes sense. I like them both. This one's my preferred, but it's not so drastic that I'm not against getting this one when it's a better deal. And then I've never tried this before, honey garlic. It just looked good. I was wanting to get the apple wood, but I think you can only get, I think you can only get the McCormick apple wood at Sam's Club. And I should have looked for it there today and I didn't think to. Uh, as you can see, we are nearly out, but I love this on chicken and I love it on pork. So yeah. Um, anyways, I couldn't find this one at Walmart. Um, and I looked it up because I thought maybe they just discontinued it because I could find it on um, uh, Amazon, but they wanted it for like almost $5 and it was a container like this size. So then I got on Sam's Club's website and they have it for $4 and it's this size and I could not find it at Walmart at all. So I think maybe you would just have to get this at Sam's Club. So this will be on my list for next time I'm there, but I got this one today to try honey garlic. It sounds delicious. A uh, thing of French dressing and got some heads of romaine lettuce to eat on. Uh, one more thing of spaghetti sauce. Uh, Levi wanted cherry jello. I wanted the ocean water, and then Levi also wanted the Starburst. So we kind of stocked up on some jellos there. We got a salsa verde. Uh, I was thinking about making like white chicken chili sometime. So gonna need, gonna need some salsa verde for that. Got some more cheesy garlic croutons. Uh, another thing of ranch, I thought I only got one. Guess we got two. We were out of salting crackers. So got some more of those. And then when I was in my checkout line, I went through like an actual line with a person and I apparently accidentally knocked off a handful of candy and the lady noticed all of them and was like, are these yours? Are you buying these or did you knock them off? And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even know I knocked them off. Like, no, I don't want them. So she put like two of these back and a thing of um, like ortho original caramels. <laughs> she put those back. Apparently this one sneaked through the line. We have a cherry limeade. I'm not even sure if anybody's gonna like it, but there we have it. Here are the goodies I picked up from Family Dollar. So my oldest boy made a comment about wanting to catch some bugs this spring. He's never showed an interest in catching bugs before. I'm not sure if I wanna put this with his Easter basket. I feel like if I do, then I need to get something extra to go with 
my youngest son, and I don't really know what to get him, but he has no interest in catching bugs at all. And my oldest boy has never tried catching bugs before. He's never really wanted to touch bugs. So <laughs> we'll see. I feel like one is enough between the two of them. I'm not sure it will even get used. So, and then of course it comes with all the little bug catching things inside that you need. Um, I picked up some of these soups. They were on sale for a dollar a can. Soup has gotten so expensive. So I thought, okay, for a dollar a can, I can get four soups for one dollar. They're all um, chicken with rice. So got all of those. Um, we were out of tortillas, so I picked those up and forgot about them. So they've been in my car for a hot minute. My kids have been asking for quesadillas. So I'll probably put these in the freezer and see how well they hold up. They should be okay. And then they had kids' shorts on sale for $2 a piece. So there we go, reduced. They were six, now they are two. You never see this price when clothes are in season. Well, they're almost in season. I know they're kind of like fancy shorts, but I'm like, for $2, y'all can go roll in a mud puddle. I don't care. So uh, these ones are for my youngest boy, size three. And then I got another size three for my youngest. And these ones are for my oldest. He didn't really need shorts. Um, but I thought for $2, I'd give him a pair. And if they'd had an extra pair in black, I'd have got those too. They did have plenty in blue, but I was like, we don't need to go overboard here. I mean, neither one of them really necessarily need shorts, but at $2 a piece, it's kind of hard to pass them up, especially when I know they're going to run and play real hard this summer. With the neighborhood we live in now, we spend a lot of time outside with the neighborhood kids. I'm out there too. Don't come snatch my kid. I'm out there. The neighborhood kid's out there. The parents are, all kinds of parents are out there. Okay, like they are supervised. <laughs> But I know my kids are gonna be running and playing and sweating, maybe climbing in trees, rolling in dirt puddles, doing sidewalk chalk and scooting across the cement, getting covered in chalk. Like they were rough on their clothes last summer. They're gonna be rough again. So I'm like extra clothes, not a bad idea. And they are dressier. So like if we wanted to put them back for like, I don't know. I, I can't think of any special occasion where we would need dressy shorts, but these would be an option for that if we needed them. Isn't it awful when you gotta make that comment of don't come snatch my kid because I'm gonna be out there, but you do. <laughs> if I'm not out there, my neighbor's out there or the other neighbor's out there or my cousin is out there or my aunt. She recently moved to town. She comes over a lot too. So <laughs> there's always a grown up around. <laughs> anyway, that is everything for this haul. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really hope you have enjoyed. What are you spending your tax return money on? The rest of mine's going on bills. I feel like groceries are a bill and we're not doing anything fun. I'm fingers crossed we will replace the screen door in the back. Fingers crossed. Um, I'd like to do both, but I think the back door is worse than the front one. So if we could get that done, I would be happy. And even then, I feel like it's not like a fun splurge. It's like a, I'd like to be able to open the window on the screen door and have it latch correctly and not flop around back there whenever we have rain. <laughs> Plus that thing is freaking sharp on the bottom. It's missing some kind of a cover on the bottom of the door. And I cut the back of my heel on that thing when we were first moving in. I didn't realize that it was missing a cover. And I have a giant scar on the back of my heel from catching it on the back of that door. Like that thing's a safety issue, okay? And one of the kids is gonna get whacked with it and they're gonna like have their foot amputated. So if we could just replace that door, I would be happy. But yeah, ours is going on bills, paid off husband's credit card, kids are going to the dentist, we bought extra groceries. I mean, get the cars in for an oil change. That's what we're doing with ours. Lots of fun stuff. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already i'd love to have you here hanging out with me on the regular we do relatable real life stuff over here you guys know i don't sugarcoat things i am realistic <laughs> life's not perfect um if you are new go check out my channel see if there's anything else you'd like to watch come hang out with me in the comments below i always try to respond give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down i just appreciate the engagements y'all know y'all know my little rant here at the end but you guys know i really appreciate every one of you who watches and supports my channel i really do and i love connecting with you guys in the comments so coming out with me i hope to catch you guys in my next video